Welcome to the grocery haul. Kids have already gotten into these. Dannels. Carrots. Gatorade. Gatorade. Pecan halves. Fresh dates. They're whole. I usually get pitted, but this is a substitute. Sausage. Oranges. Orange juice. Some child safety locks. Spring onions. Green onions. Whatever you want to call them. Orange juice to go. We have some kale. My oldest son thinks this is the best candy ever. My husband's five hour energy. I used to have one every single day when I wasn't pregnant. I got this cute little shaker for my brother. I'm gonna share some nutritional yeast. Uh, so hopefully this, these holes are big enough. I'm gonna pour some of my nutritional yeast into here and have him use it. You just sprinkle it on everything, really. My cousin taught me about that. It tastes pretty good. I always keep a can of cream of mushroom soup and Lipton onion soup mix on hand for the pot roast. I made that on my Instagram. It's the world's best pot roast. I thought about making a YouTube video about it, but I wasn't sure. I just put it on my Instagram instead. Some diced green chilies. I'm gonna make something for my brother. He's okay with spicy. I'm not so much. We've got red, orange, yellow, green. No crying. Bell peppers. Some almonds, Ziploc bags. Three things of blueberries because they went and substituted again. I ordered blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Some more Infogrow for the little one. Then we have some romaine lettuce, avocado. I've spilled one of these. Um, well, it arrived, spilled in the bag, and then I put it all together, and then I spilled it again. Well, that was a lot of fun. These are for some granola bars I'm going to make. Gatorade for the husband. I was out of, well, running out of onion powder. Never want to run out of onion powder. Want me to pick you up? Fair Life Milk. They substituted three of these instead of the big bag. Kiwi for the littlest. That's her obsession. Mango. One random tomato. Mittens not included. It's snowing outside. Cranberry juice, unsweetened coconut, heavy cream, sour cream, butter, bananas, cream cheese, bread. And then we have some cucumber, radish, feta, and kale wraps. Banana! Banana. Some tortillas for my Banana. husband's breakfast burritos. Banana. Spinach and herb, tortilla wraps, and they substituted carb balance. I wanted just regular whole wheat, but this'll do. I freeze these. I always keep them on hand. They freeze. If, if you freeze them, they're pretty easy to pull apart. Uh, sometimes they break, but if I can usually pull one yes. off the end. Kiwi, yes, you found the kiwi. Hey. You set them on the counter and they thaw in 10 minutes, really. So I always keep a bunch of wraps or tortillas, whatever you want to call them, on hand. Did I say I got pecan halves? This came from Amazon. I finally got round circular um, pans. I have never had them. And I've needed them a couple times, but got some of those and that's my grocery haul you want a kiwi okay hmm it's not really a meal plan it's just things I plan to make here's the grocery list and things I got I still need to get dried blueberries and hazelnuts Walmart didn't have anything but sweetened blueberries I need unsweetened and boy are those spendy unsweetened blueberries are expensive Whew. And I didn't get raw hazelnuts. Walmart only had toasted hazelnuts. Anyhow, I got the rest of what I needed, but the types of things that I'm going to make aren't necessarily meals. I already made the veggie sandwich. It was just an idea. I wanted to try it. It was pretty tasty. The pot roast, I made that on my Instagram. The eggs, I made that on my Instagram this morning. It'll probably still be there if you look at my Instagram. I don't know, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the United States of America. It was a dill and chive egg and it was delicious. I put, question, I put question marks here because I carried this over from last week and I wrote this on my meal, meal plan from last week. I didn't share it with you guys, but I couldn't find the recipe. I was like, chicken thighs with shallots. And then I put question marks because I don't even know where that recipe came from, but apparently I'm gonna make that because I have shallots and all the stuff to make it. I just don't know where the recipe is. Otherwise I'll probably just make some chicken thighs with shallots on my own. Then it's mostly just kind of filler type thing. I do want to make some baked ziti just because I have enough leftover and cheese and things. I was going to try to throw together some kind of baked ziti. Hazelnut brownies, which are sweetened with dates, walnut, truffle, ginger cookies. These are all very healthy things. The maple coconut granola, the granola bar, all very healthy. Uh, the ice cream is not. I wanted to make some homemade ice cream. I don't have an ice cream maker, but this ice cream you're supposed to be able to just blend it in a high speed blender or food processor. Ginger cookies, my husband likes to have a little snack that isn't too terribly sweet. Um, he likes ginger muffins and cookies and things, so I usually 
have a lot of molasses on hand to make some of those. And jelly donuts I thought looked pretty fun. I have some raspberry jam that nobody's eating and I was like, well, I'll just fill up some jelly donuts, why not? So I'll be making these things. I'll probably do a video on the healthy snacks. Or I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of like an honest opinion as far as whole food, you know, very, there's health food. I think food is food, really. I eat anything from jelly donuts to the blue box craft macaroni and cheese to things like bulgur, moth beans and hummus and you know, whole food health foods. And because I eat an array of several different kinds of things, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge as to whether or not one some of these health food desserts are even tasty. You ever watch a video and you see someone cooking gluten-free and they're like, oh my gosh, these muffins are so delicious. And you're like, okay, well, do you think that because you're deprived of having actual baked goods? Or do you think that because you've been stuck in this gluten-free category for so long that, you know what I mean? But because I always have a variety of everything, I feel like I can give a good honest opinion about whether or not some of the, these things are even worth making. I mean, of course, a walnut truffle and a hazelnut brownie made with dates and no sugar at all are, are pretty restrictive as far as what you can and can't eat. And if you're on a very strict diet, these could be treats for you. But if I'm able to have my own hazelnut brownie with, you know, sugar and chocolate and everything else that goes usually in a brownie, I'm not gonna sit there and eat a hazelnut brownie if it doesn't taste very good when I could just have the real thing because I am not, fortunately, I am not restricted to any sort of dietary standard. I just eat whatever I want. But I was curious as to whether or not these health food, whole food type things even tasted good. So I was gonna make a video about me trying a bunch of these whole food health foods and give an honest opinion as to whether or not these health nuts are just nuts and deprived and that's why they think everything's good or if things actually really taste good because I have tried a lot of whole food health food items that are actually pretty tasty. Wow that was a long rant. I'm gonna start making I think some I wanted to make some hummus too. I'll make that on my Instagram probably because I don't really use a recipe. My Instagram is Plasma Speedos if you're interested and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!